Hey guys, Natasha with Natasha Square Book Corner, and today I'm coming to you with uh, my uh, so far three um, cards. Uh, thank you cards for uh, three of my favorite uh, shops, and uh, I'm gonna I'm slowly but surely uh, packing the uh, packages to the ladies. Um, so, but uh, the first one is need to go out, um, need to go out right away. Um, so I need to hurry up and uh, record this video. So I will do by parts. Okay. So let me rearrange. Okay. So the first card is uh, um, Luisa Diaz's shop, uh, Kitty Scrap Post. Uh, and this is the thank you that goes out to her and um, I try to use a couple things from um, each li little uh, shops so to kind of let know that that's about the shop uh, the first card it's basically um, folded card all of my cards are folded card trifold and uh, I chose for the uh, um, theme for all of them for images uh, the Me To You um, teddy bears I absolutely love them and this is European company uh, but the teddies are just absolutely adorable uh, so and uh, I pulled up a couple images off of internet and uh, some of them I'm lucky enough uh, Trisha uh, a little shabby chic hi sis she's um she's sending me stamps oh and mj the girls from uk basically because it's european i'm not sure if it's uk related or whatever so uh basically i just punched the little you know corners to make it a little decorative um and this uh, the the color shades are inspired by the image that i chose and he has a bouquet uh, and I just shimmered it uh, put in the glossy accent dots and added this the um, whatever the mists not the mist but the flakes like um, sparkly flakes um, and I glossy accented his nose and stuff so I put their uh, they got it uh, Sizzix frame out of the green uh, and um, I added the bottle cap because Louisa is uh, magical uh, with her chunky charms and stuff like this so and I put right there piece of her digital paper right in there one of the shabby collections that I'm lucky to work with um, and uh, I punched out a couple of Martha Stewart butterfly while orchid craft uh, flowers here and there the bow um, the um, that um, I have at NSK and it gathered around so basically that's the front and the inside already <laughs> uh, I don't like to write in the cards right um, so I um, cut out the thank you out of uh, the um, glittery sparkly piece of paper it's thin paper I know girls using the um, mm, foam but um, this was picked up uh, while we were um, hanging together with uh, Janet uh, Nana JL54 so hi Janet I'm using it and uh, one of the new sp uh, Spellbinders Heartfelt Creation die with the hearts. And uh, this actually come from the center of this. So I really like to use all of the elements right away. So this is the card and this is the sticky note that I got to the shape. So I'm going to put it. So what I like about these cards is um, they are displayable. So okay so that was the card and here's the piece of chocolate and um, 
um, the piece of chocolate I basically um, punch out the borders on two different um, papers and I wrapped it all around and I tried to match with the theme of the card so I created a little bow out of the um, this uh, red like, gift bow kind of um, lace that I carry in my store and I cut out the banner die with the magnolia uh, and I chopped one banner and I place it in the shadow box and it is a shadow box from one of those um, and I used one of this um, you know um, adhesives and I went up with a circle so I decided not to throw it and reuse it so I just basically wrapped it um, inside and on outside with the different papers and here's one of Louisa Louise's um, tags, like digital paper tags, I had a scrap, um, and this is uh, this element, um, but it's just twice and overlapped, which created this gorgeous frame, and of course I did the shaker box, did I finish that with a banner, so I basically placed one of the banners inside, so it will get the continuous thing theme and uh, inside there is one of Louisa's papers as well so and um yeah that's it and I put some of my blings from my store in wild oak craft flowers so that's um thank you um KSP for um uh, amazing digital papers that Louisa provides us with and um I know a lot of designers working with those and each time I um, have a chance to work with those I my mind it just <laughs> gets blown away so okay this is my thank you uh, favorite store to Louisa let's see next one okay the second set is for one little trimmer already and um, I um, for some reason I don't ask me why <laughs> but already associate I associate already with the red and gold colors although already loves white so uh, when I chose the base for the card I chose red uh, according to my so association of um, artists but then when I started to work it it's done on me that she is really uh, she really likes white and well we know she loves laces and blinage and stuff like this so I kind of corrected my <laughs> my personal decisions by editing um, a little bit of uh, white <laughs> on the card um, so again um, all my cards are the same fold basic fold and I'm using the textured card stock um, so it's got the little um, um, it swirls or very beautiful uh, print so um, again as I said I'm using uh, different images of me to you teddies and this one has um, a bouquet of uh, roses and uh, so I fuzzy cut uh, this image um, edit the doily from uh, my store uh, cut out the banner and it's really cute and created the bow and the bow is from my um, it's a satin ribbon and actually I have one more and it came actually it's very handy so I will quickly reach in 
um, it was the gift wrap from one of the boxes or whatever so it was basically like that uh, gift boxes or maybe electrical blanket or something so it had the velcro in here so that's what left from one uh, first ribbon uh, and uh, when I see something, you know, some ribbons like this, I'm always saving it. And Velcro, um, I'm sure we'll stumble upon something to use that on. Um, you can use it in the cord, in the box, as a closure. So, um, make the story short, I created that bow. I used, um, uh, so with a satin ribbon, then I added uh, one of my... Um, very airy um, cotton laces from Natasha Scrapbook Corner. This is uh, this particular one is very very soft. The uh, the other seems to be very uh, thick cotton, and this one is very airy. So, like uh, comparison to that one, it's heavier, and this one is very lightweight. Um, and then I added uh, a little rosette and um, I already carries a variety of different rosette trims and I added uh, the uh, heart uh, flatback uh, heart that's from my store uh, the sprays this one well, actually both are from my store so the cotton lace on the bottom and here is the artist supplies um, she um, has this trim the heart trim it's actually heart okay so um, I used one of the hearts then I use one of her uh, rosettes and she um, used to sell those in um, sometimes she has like a grab bags and there is two or four of each color and the varieties so I I uh, when I'm running low I'm trying to grab those bags because you never know how much and what color do you need so that's really nice um, of already to offer the mix bunch of uh, the rosette trims the cutoffs or whatever and um, I had uh, the bling um, oh that bling might be even coming from one of her trims I'm not exactly sure but this is uh, this is for sure one of her um, blings trims that she cares and again she's once in a while she offers the um, scraps of those type of trims and those are really nice to have so I'm always um, if I can I'm uh, trying to grab those so and when you open it it has thank you and a bunch of hearts and a little frame that I decorated, it and I sparkled it with the sh uh, shimmers and uh, okay back I showed you so basically that's this card and the bar of chocolate um, I actually liked that piece of paper that I die cut it the words thank you and um, and the frame you see that's the top it's the bottom of the frame so it was um, the scraps of the paper and I just tucked it in in there because it's kind of cute on the uh, um, on the wrapping and I used the same cardstock and I just you added a um, white cardstock for her white color and I punched using Martha Stewart punch border around and then I just looped on top I just looped uh, that cotton lace that soft cotton lace and added the tool and added some um, flowers from my personal stash and this particular bling I had in my stash and I'm thinking maybe I will carry that in my store but maybe next season I'm not sure um, and it's really nice it's one of the um, 
hold on just a second, sorry for the crinkling. It's actually um, like a ribbon slide. So you tell me if I should carry those. Really cute. But I don't know how much, you know, how expensive um, it is. But, okay, so that's the card. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, and the third um, card is for Annie, who is Miss Garden Grove One. Um, and she has a shop on Etsy. And I will be popping link below uh, to all shops um, down below in the description box. So uh, for any card, I used the textured cardstock in gray. And again, I did the same simple fold. And I chose um, a little girly um, uh, me to you teddy uh, and uh, she is fixing her shabby chic bow and uh, I sparkled the uh, shabby chic bow and I found the paper that kind of matches the um, the bow a little bit so I cut out the frame and um, added some lace from my stash and uh, this is one of um, Annie's um, trims that uh, uh, it's kind of like in rosettes and folded rosettes um, and uh, that's her leaf and um, this uh, particular trim right in there you see this you she used to care um i'm not sure exactly what she cares right now but that's from annie and this little uh bitty rosette trim also from annie and um little butterflies there from my stash and um prima uh rosebuds uh, rosettes. I do believe those are from Archana and my personal stash rose fabric rose in here and I think that's one as well the orchid crafts first so and the bow is one of my trace trusted recycle um, uh, baggies so basically that's it and I sparkle the um, the frame and it opens up like this and it says thank you and that is the actual um, paper that I think matches her bow. And I, uh, they got the banner. And I pop up the uh, circle, which is coming out of the center of the frame. So, and that's going to go like this. So, thank you. And she can display it in her beautiful room. And for a chocolate bar, I just basically wrapped the gray. And the chocolate bar is slightly large. Um, and I added some of the lace from my stash. And here on the edges, and I uh, punch out Martha Stewart punch uh, on the edge border and you see in gray cardstock in gray and uh, uh, this um, paper and um, I'm not sure the paper because those are my scraps um, and it's it's um, you see it sits in the um, in the kind of like baggy and it's mix of different ones i have the kaiser craft in here and i have lost and found so it's i cannot you know cross reference what what the paper line that was so um basically that's the uh, the cardstock, and then I just gathered this lace from my stash, 
and I know Amy loves laces and uh, one of the uh, shabby rosettes and I added some bling from my stash and to correspond it with the card I used the same three flowers the Prima Rose but uh, the fabric rose and wild orchid craft rose so um, very simple so those three cards are thank you cards are going out um, um, all the packages actually two of the packages went out and any this I, I hope I can find her address <laughs> and ship it right away so um, here is my entries well they're not entries it's just what I did to thank um, at least three stores for right now and I hope I can uh, whip <laughs> and make uh, more thank you uh, cards and send out uh, those to a few of other shops that I really like Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.